All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studio, and in front of me on the on the bill table here, I got a little kit. And in celebration of uh, Biden's little speech he did last night, I decided to go ahead and put together this 11 and a half inch build kit that I bought, God, I think it was about six months ago. I was trying to see if it was still in stock. It is not still in stock. Uh, but what I did see this morning, and I've got about four or five of these guys right here, are the bulk carrier groups. These are the premium uh, without the logo and they're nickel boron. Right now they got these things on sale for $119 with free shipping. That's on my website, kb32tech.com. So I'll put the link down below, head on over there and take a look at that. They've also got the, uh, the uh, phosphate one with $79, but free shipping is what it's, where it's at. Okay, so anyway, let's talk about this. My plan also takes on elected officials and states that are undermining you and these life-saving actions. Right now, local school officials are trying to keep children safe in a pandemic while their governor picks a fight with them and even threatens their salaries or their jobs. Talk about bullying in schools. Um, yeah, last night, I guess, Biden put out his little address to the uh, country about moving forward with uh, mandates on vaccinations, mask, uh, fines, companies, OSHA, teachers, just a, a, an extraordinary speech, which left me speechless to say. And the reason it left me speechless is because I've never felt threatened like I have with that speech. If these governors won't help us beat the pandemic, I'll use my power as president to get them out of the way. He's coming after us. Now, here's the thing. Let me preface this whole video with, I don't care what you do. I, I don't care. Do what you got to do, okay? Uh, I'm not forcing you. I don't give a shit if you wear a mask or not. I, I have to wear a mask at work. I'm not going to sit there and go, well, I'm not going to wear a mask and not feed my family. Okay, but what I am sickened by is the mandates that this guy has put forth towards these corporations that uh, employ more than 100 people but via OSHA is mandating that you must have a vaccination. Today, tonight, I'm announcing that the Transportation Safety Administration, the TSA, will double the fines on travelers that refuse to mask. If you break the rules, be prepared to pay. And by the way, show some respect. The anger you see on television toward flight attendants and others doing their job is wrong. It's ugly. I just got a, a text message from my good uh, friend, Mr. Winger, and he sent me this whole thing. He's already received the notification that uh, they have to go get vaccinated. Um, this is pretty sickening, I have to say. Uh, it is his closest thing. And, you know, all of a sudden you see your people are getting fired from uh, positions or forced to resign. It's like the, the night of the long knives. This guy's a holy terror and he's on the loose and he needs to be drawn in. But ladies and gentlemen, I've never heard a speech where somebody said, My, our patience is wearing thin. My message to unvaccinated Americans is this. What more is there to wait for? What more do you need to see? We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. Well, what the hell are you going to do when your patience is out, Mr. President? That's what I want to know. What exactly are you going to do? Guys, let me, this is, this is, he threatened us. A sovereign state, a, us, a country, because there's the people who are vaccinated, they're getting pissed off because the people who are unvaccinated, and then he's going to blame the failure of his policies on the unvaccinated. You watch. He set the, he set the platform up for just that. It's disgusting what this guy is doing. Jen Psaki said, what, a couple months ago that, uh, well, uh, it's not the government's uh, policy to mandate vaccinations. 
well, here you go. They're not mandating or telling you you have to. They're just saying they're going to make it impossible for you to go out and earn a living if you don't get vaccinated, which is a threat. It is a physical threat. They are taking away your livelihood. He's saying all federal or, I guess, what is it, the uh, uh, what is it, executive branch have to go get vaccinated? What a great way of getting rid of half of your employees, asshole. Your foreign policies are horrible. Your, your domestic policies are incredibly stupid. And then you come out and you threaten us with our livelihood. All the while stating that, oh, the economy is never done this good in 40-something years thanks to you. Because of our vaccination program and the American Rescue Plan, which we passed early in my administration, we've had record job creation for a new administration. Economic growth unmatched in 40 years. We cannot let unvaccinated do this progress. Undo it. Turn it back. Yeah, free money. You got people rolling around in brand new cars that <laughs> they have never, don't even have a job. Oh, when the bill comes to pay, though, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the cat's ass. And I, for one, am going to be prepared because I'm going to tell you this right now. This guy is setting out to destroy everything that you and I have worked so hard to do and obtain. Interest rates are going to go skyrocket. Inflation is going to go off the, the, the shizzle by shizzle. Gas. Ladies and gentlemen, I have not paid this much for gas since I can remember. It cost me $75 to fill up my tank, and it's only, what, 7 or eight, 17 gallons? I hate to think of you guys out there. And I drive for a living. And then they want to talk about taxing people who drive? Holy smokes. This guy's delusional. He's absolutely disgusting. God, 25th Amendment can't come fast enough, and I don't give a shit if we got to deal with the cackling princess. But ladies and gentlemen, he threatened us. This, this speech was a threat. So yes, Mr. President, let me know what you're going to do when your patience is wearing out. Because I want to know. It's absolutely disgusting. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'm fired up about this bullshit. Yeah, shall not be infringed. <laughs> what is that? Shall not comply. Sorry, Johnny. In any case, disgusting. Don't forget, guys, I got demonetized. And I'm not going back to demonetization unless I'm forced to. <laughs> but uh, through your patronage and all the other stuff, uh, go to my website, kb 32 Tech. Dot com. Check it out. Uh, we're going to put the premium build series together next week, uh, and we'll go from there. But, man, I'll tell you this. A guy who wants to take away our rights and freedoms on an hourly basis, uh, the midterms cannot come soon enough. Trust me. It's KB32. Y'all be good. I have no statement after this whole video. I am that angry. Y'all be good. Bye. Boom.